Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We're, today we're going to be playing um, GeoGuessr. We've not done this for a while, about a year exactly I think. Um, almost uh, when I did that one-off uh, 200 subscriber um, video. Uh, but today we are going to give uh, GeoGuessr a go because I've not done it in a long time and uh, I thought I'd uh, give it another go as a one-off or maybe another few episodes. Who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we are going to play this today. Um, we are in GeoGuess of the world, so we could be in, if you don't know this game is, basically you get spawned in somewhere in Google Maps, and you basically need to guess where on Google Maps you are, so anywhere in the world pretty much, apart from like the Antarctic or something, because obviously Google Maps hasn't got like, you know, like a, a snowmobile or something. Maybe they do. I mean, they're allowed to walk around like, you know, shopping centres and stuff. But who knows? Anyway, um, I'm off on the tangent. Um, we should probably get on with it then. So yeah, anywhere in the world, first impressions is it's not Scotland, because Scotland does not look, um, well, where I live in Scotland does not look as good as this. Um, <laughs> the Highlands look pretty much probably better than this, actually. Uh, but yeah, it looks very barren, very shrubbery. Um, first things I always look for is what side of the road they drive on. Um, which will be, that doesn't help because it's part. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, they drive on the right, that's kind of annoying because I think about 80% of the countries in the world drive on the left. 80% uh, of the countries in the world drive on the right, which doesn't narrow it down very much. The countries that drive on the... Wait, am I being stupid? No, I'm not. The countries that drive on the left are the UK... Um, I believe I've not played this. I've not done this sort of geography thing for a while, like this game. So can't remember exactly. Does Ireland drive on the right or the left? They drive on the right, right? Yeah, they do. I think. No, they drive on the left. They drive on the left. Yes. Um, Japan drives on the left. Um, uh, Australia drives on the left. New Zealand, I think, drives on the left. And India drives on the left. I think those are really the only countries that drive on the left. I think maybe Cuba does as well. Uh, but everywhere else drives on the right, pretty much. So yeah, we're gonna. So remember that we've got like a little lake here. Um, <laughs> I don't know how much help that's gonna be if we're in like Scotland or something. We see a, a lock or something. We've got very little chance because <laughs> there's locks everywhere in Scotland. Oh, hang on. Um, what was that? Villa Italia. Okay. So unless this is like an Italian sign in the middle of uh, China, then okay, let's um, let's go to Italy if I can bloody find it. There it is. So somewhere in Italy, I have no idea. <laughs> I assume somewhere mountainous, maybe, maybe somewhere in the like here, uh, maybe a little bit, not quite mountainous, but it's quite hilly. Yeah, it's quite hilly. It's like this area, kind of like Florence, maybe down this way. That's like my gut instinct, anyway, from that sign, and looking at the scenery. See, you can't just rely on signs and, you know, buildings and all that. You have to actually look around and think, what does this look like? And you have to, like, point out, you know, like, things like, uh, what, say, a road to drive on, like, just to get an idea, you know, what countries it could be. And, like, the one in ten chances a left-hand drive, then, um... Then you can um, narrow it down quite easily. And uh, you can probably just find out what country it is. Because India, the UK and Australia are completely different. <laughs> Adele Barrow. I have no idea. Adele Barrow. There's a joke in there about the singer Adele. But I just can't think of one. Um... Yeah, very hilly, very mountainous, very forestry as well, if you can even call it that, shrubbery. Oh, notice in the distance, very, very, very high terrain mountains. What the hell is this? <laughs> this random house in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Mon, what? Can you make your text a bit bigger, please? Municipalidad. What on earth is that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Right, what's this? Mass 
Does anybody know Italian? If this even is Italian. It probably is. It looks quite Italian, doesn't it? Hello. Do you know where we are? Oh, look, they're keeping to a social distance. <laughs> this is probably taken in, like, 2009 or something <laughs> before social distancing was even thought about, obviously. Actually, this might have been before 2009, I mean, I think Google Maps did the first thing, like, round in 2009, because if you go on Google Maps anywhere around the UK, a lot of places will have, like, 2009 as the date at the bottom. Some places have, like, 2016, some places have 2020, obviously in, like, the built-up areas it'll be, like, 2020, but, like, you know, like, side streets that nobody likes, you know, it'll probably be, um, uh, 2009. Cabanas. It's quite interesting as well, you know, like seeing like how it used to look. Cabanas. Oh my god, that looks cool. It's such nice scenery. I'd love to just drive down here. Probably cycle down here, actually. It's probably that quiet of a road to cycle down. All the roads in the UK are awful. <laughs> um, see, what is Cabanas? Does anybody know what Cabanas is? Auto camping. Okay, so they do talk in English, so that makes me think it is Italian. Because Italian has their second language is English, I believe, right? Don Cirlo. A lot of European countries do have English as their second, maybe even third language. Obviously, some of them have them as their first, like the UK, for example. Um, oh, these lakes, though. There's so many of them. It just reminds me of Scotland, but I feel like these lakes are more common than Buddy Scotland. See, so it's definitely not Scotland because it's got blue skies, so it's definitely not Scotland. Damn. I mean, I'm going to have to take a guess because we're going to be here forever and we're never going to get anywhere. Arastro de Mula. Honestly, like, this does not help. Like, they, you know, it is Ita Italy because the signs, I've seen them in Eurotruck before, the signs are pretty similar. And the word things, you know, they all, most of them end with an A. <laughs> like, it's got an A at the end of every bloody city, almost. <laughs> What's this? It's the same thing. Wait, so, like, Arisa de Mula is, like, this tiny bit here. That's good to know. <laughs> okay then. I don't know what he's running for, but maybe he's just on his uh, very, very, you know, very, very like wrapped up run. What's this? Why is one of them covered up? See, Google Maps does this. It's very strange. And then you go back a bit, and it'll, like, re... Yeah, look, it's a bike up a hill. What's that? What's wrong with that? Loudspeaker? What's that? Walking? Sailing? Um, horse riding? Going to the beach? Villa Pahunia. <laughs> I guess that's that. I don't... Cabanas Don Galindo. I have no idea where this is. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to guess. A random road in the middle of nowhere. Let's go uh, here. Imagine it was like, you know, two kilometres away. It's not going to be. It's going to be like a thousand kilometres away. Let's guess. Oh. My. God. That is like the the nightmare scenario of this game. It was in Argentina. How? How was it in bloody Argentina? There was nothing pointed to me towards Argentina. It said Italia though. That's what pointed me to Italy. Did they speak Italian in Argentina? I assume so. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's you earned your first point. Well, at least I got a point. That's that's the main thing. Um, <laughs> you were 12,300 kilometres. Honestly, could you pick... Maybe if I was, like, here, you could probably be a little bit further away. But not that much further away. Oh, my God. 
that was truly horrific. <laughs> Let's hope the next one's better, because it can't get much worse, I'll be honest. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, New Plymouth, New Plymouth, that sounds American, right? Everything, basically America stole every one of the UK's cities and basically put New at the front of it. Novotel, um, hotels and resorts, Novotel. Caution, max height, 2.7 metres. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, 2nd of August, join us for Sunday roast, $25. Wow. $25 for a Sunday roast? What? <laughs> Book me the 2nd of August. I'm going there. <laughs> Convernos. Wow, it's massive as well. Max height, 2.7 metres. What? I mean, what, are you going to go in there with a car? I mean, like... Scrap super cheap all. Um, okay. Slight tire not auto service. Professionals. MD Brown and Co. Plumbers and drain layers. Phone 0675. Okay, I instantly know it's not the UK. I think it's America. Yeah, I think it's definitely America. Cycle lane. Oh, maybe Europe then. Where do they drive? It's a one-way street, isn't it? Okay, that helps. Um, seems like it's left though. A new voice for New Plymouth, Glenn Bennett. Labour. What? Nah, it can't. It can't be the UK. Come on. Okay, yeah, it's definitely not the UK. Uh, route 45, Route 44. This does not look like America. It also does not look like any European sign either. <laughs> it looks like New Zealand, possibly. <laughs> I don't think there's any any um, route numbers on here that looks like that. No, I don't think so. What about in New York? They seem to have put new at the start of uh, a British place. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look very good. Let's go to let's go to McDonald's. So is everywhere to be honest almost. Let's go to Australia. No, they've got A's at the start of the the start of the thing. The start of the, the root number. Yes, 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 yes. This looks promising. New Zealand has got red root numbers with badges. Let's hope there's not another country with um, <laughs> root numbers. <laughs> God. Uh, so we're looking for city centre of Opanuk. I, sh I don't know if city centre is separate from Opanuk. It probably is. Opanuk. Can we just find Opanuk? Can we just get lucky, please? Um... Okay, can we find a major town? Maybe it'll point us towards it. McDonald's, though. Wow. McDonald's into New Zealand as well. Oh, my God. McDonald's is everywhere these days. Okay, let's have a look at this sign. So, Opanuk is 62 kilometres away. Oh, my God. What city are we in? Like, it says city centre, but I don't know what city we're in. Has it got, like, McDonald's off, like, Wellington or something? Police, Leach Street, um, Port, well, with her and Hamilton. What city am I in? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. It actually does look a bit like British um, McDonald's. Kind of like American and British mixed. Oh my god, I've actually got bike, um, bike racks. <laughs> if only they would actually bring them to the UK. Outside McDonald's. Wow, this looks great. This must be quite a big city. I've maybe just randomly popped myself in the middle of um in the middle of uh Wellington or something. Hamilton. Can we find Hamilton on the map? Oh there's Wellington. Wait, city centre Nah it can't be. Oh 
god. New Zealand's bigger than I thought. Is it on this island or is it in that one? Auckland? Hamilton anywhere? There it is! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, there it is. Okay, I'm thinking we could be in um, Auckland then. Or we could be in Taranga. We're somewhere near Hamilton anyway. Let's see how far away we are from Hamilton. Airport 9 k is 243 kilometers away. Oh my god. That's not helpful. Wait, Wetara. Uh, I'm thinking we might be in Wellington. <laughs> I'm actually thinking we might be in Wellington then. Because uh, well, it's probably like 243 kilometers away to Hamilton. Jeez, that's a long way. Oh, New Plymouth. New Plymouth. Yep, yep, yep. That's where we are. Okay, we can actually get this within a kilometre if we actually try. Um, we don't want to find the airport. We want to find out where we started because you have to select where you started. If he can find the McDonald's in New Plymouth. <laughs> oh my god. If there's anything like any other site, it's probably got like seven McDonald's. So It probably does not help. Sacred Heart Girls College. What? What road are we on? Sorry, this might take a bit longer. <laughs> uh, Northgate, okay. So Northgate is in the north, I hope. Brooklyn Zoo? What on earth is Northgate? <laughs> There's the airport, so we're 9 kilometers away from the airport, so we're probably somewhere like here, right in the city centre. But I just can't figure out, like, where exactly we could be. Oh, thanks. That, that's, that helps. Welcome to New Plymouth, Plymouth International. <laughs> it looks much better than the Plymouth in the UK, I'll be honest. <laughs> It's kind of like New York. It looks much better than New York. Wait, Tara. Wait. Wawake, Wakayo or something. <laughs> What's it called? Um, Tara and Hamilton. So yeah, Hamilton was way over here. Wasn't it? Yeah. Watara. Stratford. God said, I just stole every UK name. <laughs> oh my god. Um, oh. I don't want to go too far away from the start because that's going to make it difficult. But I need to f figure out where we are. Okay, there's the coast. There's the coastline. There's the coastline. So we are in the coast somewhere. So if we can find flipping Northgate, that would help. Could be around here. Um, I mean, it's a car park. It's got some caravans. Tasman Bowling Club. Can we find Tasman Bowling Club? That would be really helpful. Um, a public toilet. The coastal walkway. Um, so, if you look that way, you can kind of see, like, it sticks back out that way, doesn't it? So, it's kind of like a little end, so maybe here? I'm just going to have to guess. I'm going to guess here. Saving Club, the Holiday Park. Yeah, I don't think it's... Nah, it can't be up there because it's New Plymouth Airport. Um, I don't know. It could be here, like a Holiday Park. <gasps> Saving Club? It's probably more likely to be over here, actually. Let's Let's go here. Okay, we're going to guess. Let's hope we're not letting a completely different continent this time. I think we're going to be within 10Ks at least. 1.2 kilometers. Oh my god, that was really good. 
uh, we guess here, and it was actually down here. Wow, that was uh, that was pretty good actually. I think the bowling club was somewhere around here, um, probably down here. Is it even on the map? The wind wand. What? <laughs> okay. Okay, I think. Th yeah, I can't see the. Let's play next round. That was good though. We got some points back. Oh my god, this is completely different. What? A oh my god, I'm on a country road. This is not good. Country roads equal trouble <laughs> in this game. They really do. There's no signs. You're travelling for miles. It kind of... Okay. Is that a cow? <laughs> it could be the UK then, actually. But there's probably cows in other parts of the world, like, seriously. But it kind of looks like Highland cows. Like, it kind of looks like the cows I see on a daily basis. Yeah, it definitely does. It could be the Highlands. It could be very, very north into Scotland. It'd be quite good if it is Scotland, because we've had New Zealand, we've had uh, Argentina, and we've had... Uh, Scotland, if this is Scotland, that'd be great. But it's put us on a country road, like, oh my god. Interesting that it kind of, like, goes from this weird shrubbery, sort of droughty, sort of scenery. It goes to this sort of, uh, greeny, sort of, a little bit. I don't know about the UK, though. I'm kind of in, like, 50-50, if it is the UK or not. If it is the UK, I'm definitely thinking Scotland. There was nothing to get to sort of give us any more clues to, apart from like the scenery. We've got like little mountains in the distance, hills in the distance. Uh, oh, 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 maybe the house will help us. That was like an absolute Ross bucket. I don't, uh, that, that thing over there was that. What on earth? Is, that, is this poor, maybe? It could be Scandinavia. Scandinavia have a his like you know Scandinavia have like coloured houses kind of might point towards that. That does kind of look Scandinavian. Like I'd I'd imagine that driving around Scandinavia, well not round Scandinavia, but in a Scandinavian field. <laughs> hmm. This is going to be another tricky one. And it's going to be like the first one. We're going to be like completely different continent. It's definitely autumn here. doesn't necessarily help. It, it probably is Scandinavia now. Oh god, if we're going to be like clicking for miles, it's not going to be good. Oh, okay, a little bit more. I don't know what that is. Some weird like cow competition or something. Maybe they called it cow petition. That was, that was dreadful, I'll be honest. That was really dreadful. Cow petition. There's something down here, it's like buildings. It looks like it's in a bloody... Is that just like a, a mirage or something? <laughs> I like the coloured trees though, they're really cool. But they're not cool, but they're, they're, they're nice to look at. Um... See, I don't know... I'm I'm kind of like leaning away from Scotland. I'm kind of pointing towards Scandinavia. Um, I just I just don't feel Scotland anymore. It could be, but I just don't feel it. Oh my God! How long is this road going for? This path, this never-ending roads, country roads. I honestly feel like this is never going to end up anywhere. I feel like I've just spawned in like the worst possible location. Because I have nothing to go against here. Like I've got 
I've got like some trees and a few cows and a few buildings that look like they're from Scandinavia and a scenery that looks like <laughs> anywhere pretty much apart from like America or something. It's too dr like, even then it could still be like Nebraska or something like that. One of the flyover states. That have like one road on it. Oh my god! There's an actual another car. Did you see that? Yeah, there. Oh my god, it's gone! It was another mirage! <laughs> oh my god, we must have gotten somewhere. Please. Please tell me. Oh my god, we've reached the main road. Well, not the main road, but like a B road or something. Oh, okay. This definitely does not look Scottish. Okay, this is not Scottish. <laughs> why did I even think it was Scotland? <laughs> like, why? This is just the same. There's going to be nothing. But just think of the scenery, though. It looks very... It's mountainous. Which, <laughs> I mean, does that help? Probably not. I mean, Scandinavia. I mean, I'd, if, if I was like looking at the hills thinking, does Scandinavia have a lot of hills? Not really. It's quite flat Scandinavia, isn't it? If it was up north of Scandinavia, you'd think this would be covered in snow and autumn, I think, probably. Like, orange is usually, what, October, November, so you'd probably think, yeah, there'd be some snow on the ground. So that's why I'm thinking if it is Scandinavia, it's probably near the south, or it's not Scandinavia. It could be Middle East, it could be anywhere. I mean, the world is a massive place, like, even though the phrase, it's a small world, is used a lot, it's, it is a massive world in reality, like, there's so many places to go. Like, there's so many places to find. And I have no bloody clue where this one is. What on earth? Like, what? They look like an, like an actual, like, you know, like a, what's it called, like a mountain range or something. So, I mean, we could just go... I'm going to do another 20 clicks. One. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to the start, and I'm going to go this way for a bit. Because there's no point, like, going all the way... Well, there is, because we still don't know the continent yet. That's the issue. If you don't know the continent, then you're screwed, pretty much. Otherwise, you have a big, massive dose of luck. We can maybe make out the car. Uh... I mean, I mean, seriously. Uh, 15? A teddy bear on the dashboard for some bizarre reason? It looks very muddy, which doesn't help. Is that a Mitsubishi? I think that's a Mitsubishi. It's... Mm. I don't know. It's difficult. What on earth? What's happened here? <laughs> well, that's nice. Hmm. So I don't think it's Scandinavia. I don't think it's the UK. <laughs> it's what the UK will look like in like 20 years time. Uh, let's go somewhere in the Middle East. Let's go like Belarus. It's quite mountainous, so maybe maybe Ukraine, actually. Let's so maybe go here. This is a complete stab in the dark. Watch this. It's going to be in, like, uh, um, Mexico or something. Watch this. If this is within, um, I don't know, if this is even within, like, you know, like, you know, Western Russia, round here, even South Finland, round here, like, Georgia, Turkey, round to Germany, up to Poland, down to Greece, that sort of circle of area, I'll be happy. Now we need to wait a little while because it's wanting us to pay for money for it. <laughs> Try free for 10 days. We could do that, but let's just get on with it. It doesn't really get much worse than that. 
if he thought the first one... You know what I said about the first one? It can't get much worse. It just did. And even even worse than that... I'm sure you've picked up on it already. But it's pretty much in the exact same place as it was on the first one. <laughs> Except it's slightly more in towards... Um, uh, Chile. It's in southern Chile. Who on earth is going to get that? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we've got residential. Oh my god, those flowers look amazing. Uh, instantaneously when I come here. Okay, gut instinct is New Zealand. Again. <laughs> New Zealand or Australia. Or maybe even maybe even the USA. And like, rich places. It could be Florida, actually. Now that I think about it. Uh... Okay. Why they got two solar panels? Is this so like one person can watch like EastEnders and one person can watch um I don't know like uh one person can watch like Martin Lewis or something? But why do you need two solar panels? I suppose if you got like you know two sky boxes. <laughs> okay, a stop sign. That makes me think America. Vengland. What? Venga Vengaland. I thought it said V England to start with. Vengaland? Venga. That just makes me think of the Venga boys. That makes me think, is this Ibiza? <laughs> I mean, I don't know why I got to that, but... Oh, great. It's completely changed. What the hell is going on? Share a moment at Wimpy Paris. It sounds like it could be America. KFC Rares. Paris. So that that's kind of like the place. That, that's kind of the name. Paris Securitet. Oh my god. It's bloody some rubbish. Some language I don't know about. Ugh. Vi Vly smart. That sounds like Poland, right? That definitely sounds like Poland. Somewhere in the east of Europe. What on earth is this? Pickup truck. People crossing the road. We don't care. We'll just uh, go um, double the speed limit. Bumps. Paris. Crystal like school on a Hankel like Lair school grad R2 grad 7. Okay, so it's like kindergarten to seventh grade or something. Klein -gra Does anybody know what this language is? Groot Genoeg on Vrug. It sounds Polish, but no, it's RK3 man. What <laughs> I don't know. We're running out of time here, so we're going to have to pick this up a little, pick up the pace a little bit. Uh, l oh, interesting though. That it's left-hand drive. So I'm thinking it could be India. It's not Poland, because they're right-hand drive. It could be New Zealand. So you've got New Zealand, which is not, because I'm pretty certain it would have been in English. You've got Australia, which is not, because it would have been in English. Uh, you've got uh, you've, I think Japan does, but it's not Japan because that would have been in some uh, bizarre language I wouldn't even be able to read. Um, you've also got uh, India. It could be, but I don't have Indian vibes here. It could be, you know, like it's probably more likely than um, than Poland at this point because obviously they're driving the left. Does India have stop signs? Hendrix, Sheepers, Biochemist. It's very religious as well, which is what India, uh, like in India, you have a lot of like religious buildings. So it could be India. O five six eight one one five six hundred. It could be Mexico. No, it can't be because they're driving the right. Does any South American country drive on the the left? I don't think they do, do they? Somehow in my mind, I'm thinking Brazil, but I don't think they do. Paris, we specialise in door frames, doors, window units, what? 
Hobbs Stove's Cabinets. 082. That looks like an American number, but I don't think it's America. Again, they've got like 50 solar panels. Riviera. Gesundheit Saptik. It's not Germany. Come on, it's not Germany. How how can it be? Could it? Oh, 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 oh. I think Cyprus drives on the left as well. Hmm. Hokai, okay, Gibber. Does it really sound like Cyprus? I've never been to Cyprus, so I don't know. S A Chillers Accountants Telephone Oh Five Six Eight One. They've got fax machines still. What the hell? What? Oof, this is not helpful at all. Like, there's nothing here that's pointing towards any sort of country. The left-hand drive kind of points a little bit towards India or um, Cyprus, but nothing more than that. Home smart furniture and appliances. So I'm thinking it could be Cyprus because it's got left-hand drive and it's somewhat in English and somewhat in um, German, I believe. Is Cyprus a German? No, it's not. Is it? It's a Greek. Oh! It could be Greek. Because I, I remember Greek is pretty similar to Polish. Go to hardware, electrical paints. Mm, it could be one of these, but. Capitec Bank or Bradlow's? It doesn't. I'm going to try Cyprus just. <laughs> As like a, a, a gut instinct. Let's try gut. Um, let's try Cyprus. Uh, is that Cyprus? No, it's not. Where is Cyprus? Here it is. Okay, let's go Cyprus. Um, let's go here. Oh my god, of course. I missed the one country that drives on the left. It's South Africa. I knew there was one I was missing. And it's South Africa. Yep. <laughs> if, if I knew that South Africa drove on the left, I, d I did, but I just didn't get it. If I knew that South Africa drove on the left, I would have picked South Africa. Because, yeah, it kind of looked African as well, didn't it? But it kind of it kind of looked like rich, like sort of the richest place in Africa, which is South Africa, pretty much. Kenya is actually pretty um, rich as well, I believe. Um, yeah, I think, yeah. Let's play next round. Let's hope we get some points. This has been an absolute dire um, um, game, but it's been fun, though. Um, oh, America. America, New Zealand, Australia. Those three always get, um, when it looks like this, it always kind of like, it's probably one of them. An American dustbin. Oh, very, very, very modern cars. Oh, one of them is. Is that a Fiat? the hell is that? Oh no, it's a Honda. A Honda and a... Is that a Honda as well? Jeez, Honda fanboy, Jesus. <laughs> Fairfield Drive, ooh. I don't think it's America then. What mix of places we've been to today? Fairfield Drive, Pipkin Road, no outlet. Fairfield. Oof. Yeah, I don't think America has traffic lights like that, does they? Do they? Oh, wait a sec. 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 That is an American speed limit sign. That looks like an American speed limit sign. I think it's maybe something to do with the state because they kind of look different. What on earth is that? It could be Florida then. Florida kind of looks like it could be like this. Lakeyard Vineyard exit. Uh, let's have a look at the signs. VA clinic. What a vaccination clinic. Or wait, is it Virginia? Possibly. It can It could be West Virginia as well. Pepkin Road. Park what? Parkway. Toll five seven zero. 
was a nice sign back there. It, it actually looks like they're much closer than they actually are. Uh, much further away than that, sure. Lakeland Linder International. Sun and fun. Florida Air Museum. Oh my god, right. Let's go to Florida. I wish. <laughs> Let's go to Florida. Um, what am I looking for? Lakeland. Lakeland. Is it here? Lake Okeechobee or something. Lake Harbour, Lakeland, is, maybe it's a major place, maybe I can like zoom out a little bit. Uh, it's not looking good. Panama City. Didn't that get flooded once? This, it seems like it probably did. <laughs> Parkway. Warring Road. Okay, we know it's in Florida, at least we've got the right, con uh, right state. Century Pioneer Family Farm. Okay, we need to find like where we're near a major city, like the nearest major city, and then we're kind of like in the area. Dig Ark. Do not enter. Hmm. Petrol station. Oh, a Coca Cola truck. Marathon. Food center, play ice. Oh my god, I actually love like American, you know, like fuel station layouts. They're like so so familiar as well. Like they always have this like ice and you know like these little side things, like the little um bins at the side. I don't know why it's just small things that make it <laughs> what it is. In the UK, we don't. We have like a I don't know what do we have? Nothing. Welcome to the city of Lakeland, the city of Lakeland. So it's quite major. Lake City. Um, could it be around here somewhere? Lake Butler. There's a lot of lakes. It's probably near a lake. Leesburg, Winter Garden, Orlando. Oh my god. Lakeland. Yes, 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 yes. Now, what way did we come in? Um, we found a petrol station. It's probably not going to be useful. Gico? Uh, what the hell is this? Stop sign employees to seco.com. Buckle up for safety. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds horrendous. <laughs> Why am I in here? It's not major. SVN Saunders 863. Hmm. Polk Country, Polk County, That's such a strange name, beautiful adopter road, yeah I'm just going to guess, we're running out of time, let's, at least we know we're in the right place, um, uh, let's go here, so we are in a place outside Lakeland, let's go with Winston, let's go on Gay Road, because you know, <laughs> why not, Okay, we're going on Gay Road, let's go. Guess. 6.8 Ks, I'm happy with that, I'm happy with that. That's good. We're down here on uh, Fairfield Road Drive, uh, next to the Sandwich Factory. <laughs> let's view summary. We did a very, very, very mixed game. We didn't get, you know, like, you know, in the middle. It was either really good, like very, very close within kilometres of it, or it was absolute dire, like the one in Argentina and the one in Argentina for the third time, and the fourth one, which was in um, South Africa, which was my my fault. If I knew it was South Africa that was uh, like that, I would have um, uh, left hand drive. I would have um, went for it, but that was fun. Yeah, I like it. It's cool. Game breakdown. Wow. Yeah. Sort of 10,000 points. It might be one of my worst ones, to be honest. Uh, is there, like, a leaderboard? Can I, like, check, like, where uh, that puts me on the leaderboard? Um, is there a way to check? Profile? Three completed games? Um, how do I... How do I actually check? Like, history? Profile? History? Please? Anywhere? Up here? No? Okay, well, that sucks. It would kind of be nice to check. 
yeah, there's loads of these you can do as well. A diverse world, well, to the original world, better world map. Oh, so these are actually hand picked places. Dumb test. Oh, God, yeah, you get one game a day. You get the UK as well, you get Spain, you get US, famous places. Uh, yeah, what are these? Dangerous roads, oh my god. Farm halls. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's where he's went on his, his halls with his farm, I guess. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this little, um, well, it's hardly a little video, but this um, little return to um, GeoGuessr. Maybe we'll do it again in the future, uh, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe it'll uh, help your post-lockdown sort of uh, excitement in a way. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what, what does that even mean? <laughs> I guess it's just my little post-lockdown video, <laughs> if you like. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please like on. If you want to keep up to date with all the videos on my channel, please subscribe and see you in the next episode, which I don't know which will be. Which will be probably, nah, I don't even know when this video is going live anyway. So, yeah, see you later.